Hi, everyone. I just wanted to pass along a quick Pro Tools editing tip, three in particular that I'm going to show you here that you can use as time savers. So what we're going to look at today will all involve the mouse. When you're in the edit window and your cursor is here, we're at 18.297. If you want to zoom in, I like to keep my left hand on the keyboard and my right hand on the mouse. So to zoom in, press and hold the Option key on a Mac, press and hold the Alt key on a PC, scroll forward on the mouse to zoom in, scroll back on the mouse to zoom out. Another tip is moving forward and backward in the timeline. Press and hold the shift key, which of course is the same on both a Mac and a PC. So scrolling backward moves you forward in the timeline. Scrolling forward moves you back in the timeline. Kind of confusing, it's just automatic. And if you use it, it'll become that way for you too. If I know where I need to be roughly, I'll place the cursor in that spot and then I'll zoom in again with the option key and then I'll find the waveform I need to work on. So let's say I wanna work on this particular waveform. Drop the cursor here, and now, if I wanna move this around to look at something ahead in the timeline or behind, now I just press and hold the Shift key, and I scroll back to move forward, and forward to move back. But that's how that works. If I want to zoom in further, I just move over to the Option key, and Scroll forward, and I can zoom in and get right to the beginning of this waveform. So I'll press and hold the Shift key and scroll back toward me, and I can set it just where I want it. Now the third and final tip, if I want to zoom in on this waveform, then I press and hold the Shift and the Option key on a Mac, and Shift and Alt key on a PC. So if I scroll back, it'll increase the size of the waveform, and I scroll forward, it'll decrease the size of the waveform. This really helps sometimes because if you want to edit something or you want to create a break or move something around on the timeline, it's hard to tell where this waveform begins. And though you don't have to be precise, I like to be precise. So for example here, it's kind of hard to tell if this is just a little bit of noise or this is where it starts. Generally, this is going to be where the transient begins. But if we zoom in, we can see that there's a little bit more noise here but this gets you right to where you need to be, or wherever you want to be. It gets you right to the beginning of the transient. And then you can zoom out, scroll forward, and we can bring these back to their regular size. So again, that's the Shift and Option key. Then if we want to go back in the timeline, I'm going to scroll forward while holding the Shift key. And if I want to go forward in the timeline, scroll back while also holding the Shift key. If I want to zoom out, hold the Option key and scroll back. And we'll get right back to where everything's in the window we can work with. It's so quick. So for example, I want to take a look at the intro here with the guitar. So I'm right in the area. So now Option on a Mac, the Alt key on a PC. We'll scroll right to the center of your display here. So wherever that cursor is, as long as the cursor is locked down on an area, no matter how you scroll, it's going to center it. So we're right here. So I can come right to the beginning. Let's say I want to move this fade in a little bit. I can do that. Where's my next transient? I can come right back. And I can just move around without having to look at the keyboard. I think that's my whole point. So for my left hand, for my Mac, my middle finger is over the shift key. My index finger is over the option key, which is also close enough to the command key so I can move back and forth. And then my thumb is ready for the space bar to start and stop. I don't have to keep my eyes on the keyboard. I can focus on what I'm working on on the screen. Find the one thing that works for you. Find what saves you the most amount of time and stick with it. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Talk to you soon.